I might be overkeeping Shadow Assassin. It is a little bit better on the sword though. He can just immediately pull the Fiora. Saltier Monk has to be the best. Fiora can win in four turns. What do you mean by that? Want one turn, one turn of judgment. Oh, by turn four. Not if you don't play minions. Or not, not on her own. I mean, they can kill you. But it's not really the Fiora. Oh, he's thinking if I want to play more minions here. He should know Karma deck doesn't care, yeah. I think I like this more than Grasp. Problem is, I don't think we can pass here because then heal pass and the spell mana is still relevant versus us. If I open Grasp, I don't know if that's really better than just playing the Shadow Assassin. I want to Grasp Fiora. But it's kind of weird because he plays Fiora, then he can grip the Shadow Assassin. So do we have to Grasp one? It honestly might be better to Grasp one here. Oh, he has mana. Well, it's not a huge reason not to, I guess. The mana's not a huge reason not to. see it playing the spider last turn. It's better on defense, but I could see it because I'm not weak in open attack with Fiora. And then if he plays that, I could grass or something. I gotta save Ruin Ma Ruination Mana here. I don't think he's running Deny with Allegiance. So at least he doesn't get to play us. Like, he has to open attack us, which is a lot weaker. Plus, I would just be blocking with Karma. You're covered. They cannot hide. I need a blocker now, so I can't ruination next turn because he's throwing lethal. Might have to grasp on the attack here. Right now, it's actually safer for us to wait till repose and just block these two to grasp. I don't think we can beat Pursuit. You got Karma Miss Feast next turn for some blockers. Strike without worry. This is gonna pull Karma, which makes my play even worse. Than just grasping it, kind of. 
Because at least I get the health. His hand wasn't that great there. So I'm not dead on board right now, which is insane. We had to use the Valfeet, so we can't throw in Reunation if plays more this turn. The, base. the eye of Twilight sees all. I need another blocker. Too bad I didn't have the mana Reunation. We can't have Monker, so he'll just kill us. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Maybe I try to miss call after to get lucky. No, we, we just put monk after. No one goes hungry. Like this. I guess this might make sense too. Players are in single combat better after, after combat. Players are in post better. Spellman is not that equivalent right now, right? I think I guess to play it now. Although then you can single combat. Do nine mana next turn. I should have pass. I might ruination into monk. His hand is oh, what if he plays the nine drop? I can play monk into ruination. If he plays the nine drop. I can't just pass because it'll just pass and kill me. What if I just ruination and he plays 9 drop then but monk isn't that bad? Yeah, I like this a lot more because we could play karma this turn and enlighten before he attacks us, right? For the super feasts and stuff. So, and we have deny to protect karma even this turn. So I like this because I likely will not ruination, but yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. If he's forcing, if he's passing, I'm not gonna play Gantt Chicken because I would still rather play Karma out here. <laughs> so he's waiting all the time. That's not the worst for me, though. I could attack first there with self pass. Deny it. This first, though. How much damage do we take next turn? I could survive no. for at least Shen through. Or do I die? The Shen buff itself, when an ally gets barrier, give it plus three, plus zero. Is that gonna buff itself? It does. Ah, so I'm dead. With the way you played, I don't think I could have won, like, holding Ruination or anything like that. Because if I just played the one Monkton Pass, he would have killed me. I think. That's not true, huh? Like, I could have just played one Monk and then leave Shen unblocked. No, no, because. Oh, yeah, Shen doesn't flip unless he plays Bright Steel Protector.
This is such like one of those matchups that I'm about to keep Rekindler. It doesn't matter he's still in combats. It's about initiative. Once he's still in combats, then I can change my play. But yeah, he might have just single combat the monk. Then I can play differently, like Karma or whatever. Still. I'm gonna just try to cycle. I definitely be worried about running out of stuff. What I just play this now? Then I have a good, better blocker. Barely though, Val. Oh no, he doesn't have Valfies. Oh, that's interesting. I kind of like it. Oh, actually, I should play Skitter. I was thinking I could Valfeast one, block 2 2, but I also can Valfeast a 4 5 block with the. So it's kind of weird what I just did. Interesting draw. As fate wills, it's too late for you. I'm probably just gonna try to ruination here. I don't think I can really bait out a deny for actually. Wait, let's try bait deny with withering whale. If this whale happens, it's almost as good. Can we really still win? Nine. We have nine health after. Gotta fight. I don't know. I'm not very confident in being able to win, actually. Let's try it. I think I'll try it. If he denies, I think I do have to deny his deny. Or if he denies, maybe I just... Ruination next turn. What's going on? Oh my god. It's wearing Bloodstorm Pledge. Hmm. That changes a lot. Maybe we just have to open Ruination next turn. I was thinking because we have Awakened or Mark, we can do some cheeky stuff with healing, and these two, two more would be dead. This is getting iffy. Like, I, I just don't know if we can ever beat. I think we might have to just completely yell other ruination. How much mana we have next turn? Like, play minion, play a couple minions. He has too much, right? If I don't kill, if I don't kill the two L next there. This is actually pretty nice because we're tapped out. We play more minions, so we can try to defend still. Do 
Trindamir is gonna be really hard. The spirit of winter awakens. Nivia. They cannot hide. A world in perfect stone. Madoff doesn't have very many ways to kill Anivia, even if I killed the egg. Draw a feast, maybe we try, but we don't have mana to double grass before it enlightens. We still kill after enlightens. Oh, I'm super surprised about that. I kind of like just letting this go. I was planning on just skittering attacking or something, but I think we go for the kill with grass. I could mark for damage, but I don't think that's worth it. It's ephemeral. And I'm not the one pushing right now too much. Yeah, let's let it go. Because I might need to deny. We could deny his deny? He didn't have it when he, at Ruination, but maybe top deck to. If we had karma, I think I could just beat Anivia, like whatever, just kind of let it go. But we don't, the problem is we don't have karma. So if he goes in there next turn, it costs him a lot of mana. This suggests that he doesn't have like a lot of Anivias and Trindomirs in hand, that he wants to have this. I don't know if I should trade a deny for a will, it's not a great trade for me. I guess depending on what I'm trying. He's not SI, so there's not like the big stuff to deny, like ruination. I don't think this is a Warm Mother's Call deck. Oh my god, it was the one I was called that cheese. The answer lies within. Where there is life, there is hope. Okay, well, I was going to do this. No suffering, so we may end it. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Twenty one cards. I still haven't drawn karma yet. I wanna say man for karma plus double vengeance and Trindomir. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about just blocking like that healing. But he doesn't have a good answer for the Emerald Awakener, right? But he could get Trindomir next turn. I can't attack. Actually, I could probably attack. 
Freeze would be pretty bad for me. Because then I can't trade and then vengeance it. I think we'll take the heal. I, will learn you. I gotta win this game through fatigue. 15 cards left. I just played Warlord's Call. I pretty much just wait for. This one, I'm trying to think if we could mark Valfi's Weathering Wheel. That's a lot of stuff. That's. Well, this is happening for sure. With 8 mana. I could actually do all of that. I guess I'll mark here. I need to kill this before he pulls another Trindomir. So the second one is easier to kill. I'm guessing he can't go infinite because I killed the first karma. I think it's 2 2 2 split, so he shouldn't have more insights. And he's decking out with War Mothers. But I do need to deal with one more Trindomir. This game would have been so much easier if I had a karma. Three karma, two Nivea. Well, that's bad for us. We fight for one frail yard. I smell a fight. Grass this thing. Try it out. I don't know if his karma is doing that much. But he can shuffle them in. I might need to put blocker. We burn, then kindle anew. I speaks through Okay, there's all the karmas out. It's actually good he pulled the karma because he can't play the inside of ages. To go infinite. Because he pulled it with more mothers. I will learn from you. Come from the dark.
Do I ever try to mark and then well grasp that? Promise I can't kill Trindomir anymore with vengeance. It might be better for me to just grasp this. 5 3. So I don't take the damage. I mean, this doesn't do anything. I might as well just do it like this, I guess. Should I just kill Karma then? I, I don't know if that. I can't, I can't take the five, I think. Plus, I don't know if that's that reliable. You know what? I think it's Vengeance, right? Vengeance is 6-5. Sack X Vengeance the Karma. How am I still alive? I don't know. No more Karmas. I think one more Nidia. Oh my god, my hand. I'm dead. We each died, then found hope. Ooh, it's blocker. Why kill 6-5? Karma does 7 damage. It was 7-3 karma. Given the ordering, letting the Avarice 